I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue. I'm in the queue. Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Wes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, we're back with part two of the Tremendous Cues barbecue trailer review. This bad boy you see behind me. I am Wade Morris, owner and pitmaster of Tremendous Q. In part one, we went over the pit and we talked a little bit about, or actually we talked a lot of bit about just what I thought of the overall pit. And this video is gonna be a little bit shorter. We're just gonna go through and do some action shots of some of the different parts of the pit. So we'll look at the sink, we'll get the water running on that, we'll look at the butane burner, we'll get that torched up, and then we'll look at the firebox and the cook chamber last. And we're gonna light the firebox up and then we're gonna show basically how the smoke flows through the cook chamber. We're gonna go through uh, and you can see where, if any, smoke is leaking out of the cook chamber. Hint, hint, it's not uh, very well constructed. So um, we're gonna go through, take action shots of all of those so um, uh, you guys will be able to see this thing in action. When I was looking through uh, YouTube and looking at a lot of reviews of pits, one of the things I really wanted to see with the MNR trailers was just, I wanted to see these things in action. So I got the 72 SWT. Um, I saw a great YouTube review on it, but I didn't actually get to see it in action. So hopefully with this video, you guys can see it in action. And if you're looking at an MNR trailer uh, SWT, um, no matter what size you are, hopefully this can help you make a better decision. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head over to these action shots. All right, so jumping right into it. And you can see after about two and a half minutes that we got our water tank completely full. Um, underneath my drain spout to catch the water so I can make sure I dump it where I want to and it doesn't just go anywhere. And this is really just important during competitions. When I'm cooking at home, I don't really worry about it. I set that uh, bucket underneath the sink. So uh, cutting the water on, you can see it's a gravity fed sink. There's not a ton of water pressure on this thing, but it is plenty to take care of what I need to out on the competition trails, which is primarily when I use the sink. So um, you can see the bucket is catching all the water. And then we'll jump over and I can show you guys quickly. Hey, washing my hands, it's still perfect water pressure or it's a perfect amount of water to take care of what I need to. It's not a lot. I'm not splashing everywhere. It does exactly what I need it to do. So really happy with overall with the sink. Uh, the two 10-gallon water tanks take just under five minutes to fill them both up. And of course, we can't forget about that hot water. So how do I get my hot water hot? Well, it was essential for me not to have or be reliant on any electricity. So getting a propane tank, which powers everything on the pit, we're going to cut on all the piping. And then I got a butane burner underneath this water tank. And once I cut this burner on, it's just like lighting a charcoal chimney. I'll come in with my lighter and boom. So this butane burner will get the firebox full or the water tank full of water up to about 200 to 210 degrees. And then it'll stay, it'll stay above 140 uh, by for about four hours. So the last thing that's really awesome is that I can adjust the intensity of the fire underneath this burner. Now, after a quick demo of me adjusting that, let's head over to the butane burner next to the grill. Now, this burner is a little bit finicky, especially when you're trying to light it in high winds, but once it's lit, I got enough power to get water boiling so I can go ahead and warm my sauces up during the competition. We'll show you guys what the intensity on it looks like to get that water boiling, and then with this, with that done, we'll head over to the firebox and show you the gas ignite system. The gas ignite or gas assist, which is what it's more commonly referred to, is again powered by my propane tank. So I got the piping running underneath the trailer and it comes into this little opening inside of the firebox. Now, when I'm lighting up my pit, I almost always start off with nine sticks. Uh, it's just a habit. It allows me to get my chamber up to temperature very quickly. So I'll get the nine sticks put in there and then we'll go over and cut the propane tank on. Again, reoccurring theme here, I'm using propane to power everything. The gas assist is adjustable too. So I'm gonna bring the sound up, let you guys listen as I light the firebox. Now, we got our pit running. Uh, as you can see, I got a lot of smoke coming out of my cooking chamber at the two stacks uh, on top of it connected to it. So 
I want to move over to the warmer box now and show you guys how to turn this thing from a warmer box to a cooking box. Remember the damper inside that's connected to the cooking chamber. So we'll open up the warmer box. You'll see there's a little bit of smoke that's seeping through. And as soon as that smoke clears out, you see the little door inside. So we're going to go inside and this door can slide left or right. So we'll open this thing up and you'll see the smoke start coming through. Then we'll go up top and we'll open the stack on top of the warmer box so that we can get a draft pulling the smoke through into the warmer box so it can now turn into a cooker. We'll shut the door and then we effectively have a warmer box that is now converted into a cooker box. So now let's step back and look at all three stacks. Now, that conversion does not happen immediately. It takes a couple of minutes for the draft to really start pulling through the warmer box. So as you can see, the two stacks over the smoke chamber are bellowing and then the stack over the cooking chamber is really going to start coming in uh, coming into its own after a couple of minutes so let's get a little bit closer and I apologize ahead of time I wanted to get show you guys uh, a really good angle on what all three stacks looked like so I was messing with the camera a little bit but as you can see uh, we got bellowing smoke and this uh, stack over the warmer box is not po as powerful as the two over the cooking chamber the the primary cooking chamber but after a couple of seconds it does start picking up as well now let's take the camera around and look at how tightly the cook chamber is sealed there's only one spot where you get a little bit of seeping and that's in between the two clamps at the top of the doors where they close on the cooking chamber Now, I know what they say, if you're looking, you ain't cooking, but this is by far my favorite part of this trailer. I love opening these doors up and watching all that smoke escape. It just lets me know how tightly my pit chamber is sealed. So, as you can see, the smoke is, it, as a reverse flow cooker, all the smoke is going under the channel underneath, and it's coming out on the left hand side. And then it goes up, hits the top of the cook chamber because I have the doors open and it seeps out the top a little bit but with the door shut that stuff that smoke just turns around and around and around and it gets all over that meat and it looks it looks and cooks really 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 well so now I'm gonna pull this grate out and show you guys where the smoke actually comes out at in a reverse flow cooker so you can actually see this thing in action doesn't that just look sweet the smoke is going underneath this channel that I'm paneling and it comes out on the far left hand side opposite of the firebox and because I have the warmer box open the smoke is also going into the warmer box so that it can cook the warmer box can, can convert to a cooker box as well so as you can see box cookers cook just as well as cylindrical cookers and they also convect just as well too okay so there you go. This is an actual review of the 72 SWT, this bad boy you see sitting behind me. Um, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, like I said, this was a long time overdue, and I had a lot of questions on this thing, so I really just wanted to go ahead and consolidate everything and put it into one. Uh, uh, actually, it ended up being two nice little videos. So uh, you see the action shots from the sink. You see the action shots from the butane burner. Um, you see the action shots from the firebox and the smoke chamber. Um, that thing doesn't leak any smoke. Um, it doesn't, uh, and it holds a temperature really well. Half an inch steel firebox and then a quarter inch steel cook chamber. Um, everything works out really nicely. It's really fuel efficient. So you don't need a ton of water pressure when you're uh, when you're cooking on these things. Oh, I'm sorry, when you're using the sink. I've really just used it to wash my hands and um, well, wash dishes. So, uh, you know, it's not like I got a sprayer out and I'm trying to use pressure to, uh, uh, to wash anything off. So. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, please, please, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Uh, we definitely want to hear more from our fans. So leave a comment down below. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you uh, hope you guys are enjoying this uh, Labor Day weekend and football is getting started. So with that, I bid adieu and I'll see you guys later. All right.